so I think I'm going to make this a two part series it would be too long and the last video was on Baalbek wasn't it uh, proving to you how what they call the quarry is the original site that was completely collapsed solidified concrete calcified all the rebar and girders that would have to go into a structure to build something so massive has all eroded away rusted away oxidized uh, and you can even see that well i pointed it out for you so i thought i would start off with this the video is basically in the title so what you're looking at here what i've circled are girders Right? There is no metal there anymore, it's just an imprint, it's solidification. The entire earth was flooded, wasn't it? And the weight of the water lit literally caused volcanic ash, volcanic events to go off across the entire world. I proved that at nauseam. So it's an imprint of rebar. Just look at the length of what archaeologists would tell you were bricks just look at the length of them and they would say that it's cement between the bricks isn't it that you fix them together with but we all know that cement doesn't last that long does it it all just corrodes away in no time at all so it is just an imprint of rebar and it is laid out exactly how we would do it today okay now Another reason why I know that's an absolute fact is the girders there that I've circled for you. If you look at the little rim, the rim that runs around where it joins into the wall, there's a rim on both of them, isn't there? Where you couldn't have girders just going into a concrete wall uh, and taking the weight because it, it would just cut through the, the concrete. So you would have to have some type of metal framing around it. So since creating my last full video specifically just showing you rebound the imprints of that's the reason why i started the channel in the first place and then it just grew into what it is today well since that i have accumulated a huge album of uh, rebar solidification like what i've just been showing you now obviously i have a few which are a bit more dubious like this But one thing's for sure that everything that archaeology and the megalithic scene say is completely wrong to within 100%. I'm going to show you just many images which will, should prove to everybody that these are the remains, solidification, calcification again, of structures. They are the main supports. I'm going to throw enough evidence at you example side by side that should prove to you uh, the only thing that we're left to determine here is what is mud rock the imprints in mud rock or solidification of concrete calcification of what was mainly built from concrete and metal and things yes uh, later on in the video I will show you sites that were almost completely built from wood and it's been hit with ash and it's just an imprint and the reason why I do this is because I got absolutely pissed off with people like this who are supposedly the experts in the megalithic scene now these are from the Inca tours uh, that Brian Forrester does people that's been into this as long as what I have will recognize the guy on the left this is part of the Russian team I pointed this channel out to you before everything these people do they base all their research on the machining of stone right that was what they are stood there pondering right now well it's concrete it's solidification <clears throat> of concrete okay uh, this image here if you look in the top right hand corner it's basically a framework we do it the exact same way today I've got multiple images of sites across the world ancient that have been excavated that have walls like this like we do it today it's a crisscross uh, like framing work and you pour your concrete into it right 
keeps it stable. And then the holes, which are normally square, is obviously where bar and rebar will go in to then, you know, connect something into it. It's bleeding obvious. Now this is from where I live in England. I've been here once before. I've mentioned it. It's called Mother Shitton's Cave. And what you're looking at is calcification. It's lime running down the side of this cliff, this rock here, uh, and creating something like what you would see underwater. And this is basically what we're talking about here. So when I show you images like this, you can carry on believing that, let's say the Inca, uh, obviously you would say the peoples before who had unknown technology that were able to cut rock uh, just did this for no reason whatsoever and you're never going to be able to work it out and you will be constantly running around in circles with this crowd right it's all sagged offline you can see it's just an imprint of, of some building it's at the top of a mountain so these things were enormous and it's calcification it's gone underwater all the concrete has ran out in the ways I've shown you and it's the exact same thing as what has happened at Mother Shipton's cave. Same as Machu Picchu here. So when I come on here and lay out a barrage of evidence like I've just laid out there, it's completely mind-blowing to me and should be to you how these things are still labelled rock-cut structures on both sides of the fence, mainstream archaeology and the megalithic crew. The other thing that I'm hearing a lot of lately and you will have done is this melting of rock that uh, there was an event in the past and it melted cities there's nothing on here that i've shown you that this melted it's exactly what i'm saying and you should be able to recognize it from here on out because unless it's basalt then rock won't melt will it it will just turn slag 
crisp up. Uh, just turn black. So I'm sick to death of hearing people mention that gadget. Anyway, I've just been showing you the connection of floors, higher floors. Now, these next few images here. Uh, if you look, we can ob obviously see that this is not either a rock cut structure. You can see the beams, which will have been metal framing huge girders to hold a floor up. Just look how thick that floor is above. Imagine the weight of concrete on that. This is in China. The entire scenery in this image will have been a, a city just looking at a mound at the front where the front of it collapsed in some storm. So yes, they've excavated it slightly. Again, look at the thickness of these floors. We don't know how much is buried under, underneath these piles, but I can imagine, judging by what we're looking at here, it's made out of concrete metal rebar girders because and how we know that is if you look at these lines that I've drawn in it shows just how level the structures are all the way across through each wall well you can't carve anything out like you so perfectly uh, no you can't people it has to be built that way and this image here is the same site uh, it's in black and white. Uh, it is an old image. It's not just been made black and white. Okay, but uh, what I have circled there is just to show you uh, again that it's built. You can see some inner structure, which everything has just turned to mud now. This is from the ancient aliens program that they're always showing. Uh, where they make out that he's taking off on some kind of rocket ship. I couldn't be bothered going back and finding out which king it was. It's uh, Mayan. It's under, within, what they call a pyramid, what they've tidied up into the shape of a pyramid. You're basically looking at 100% uh, petrified wood there. You can even see where it's been bolted into position at the back. And I'm talking about the now stone lid cap from wood 